This tutorial is going to look at strategies for doing shrub outlines and shrub hatches in your AutoCAD site plans. In the site plan, you can see we already have a hatch for uh, the lawn here. We also have our tree symbols. And what we want to do is talk about strategies for doing maybe a shrub outline and a hatch within those shrubs to kind of delineate them in your site plan. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn off a few layers by doing lay off. We'll turn off that grass hatch, also some of the tree components. And uh, I want to look at first this outline right here. Now this was created just using a polyline and sort of going around and it's pretty labor intensive to do this for an entire site plan. So this tutorial is going to talk about a strategy for putting in uh, these a lot quicker using the boundary creation tool or BO and using uh, revision clouds or uh, rev cloud in AutoCAD. You'll start by turning off all the things that overlap your shrub areas and then do BO for boundary creation. It works a lot like hatch. We'll say pick points. We'll hit click right here and hit spacebar. So that commits to this polyline that's just created. The next step is just going to be to offset this. And this number can vary. I'm going to do six inches just to bring it a little in off the edge. What this does is creates sort of the general shape of where we want uh, that shrub outline to be. Now we're going to use the Rev Cloud. Uh, so we'll do R-E-V-C. That's our shortcut to get to Revision Cloud here. I'll hit spacebar. Now if you haven't used this command before, you'll have to change a few of the settings in here. We'll start with the arc length down here. Now arc uh, is the A is capitalized, so we know that's the shortcut to get to the arc length. And so we'll hit A, space. And it's going to allow us to do two things, set a minimum length of the arc and a maximum length. Now, again, this also depends on your drawing. In my case, uh, my previous settings were 3 and 8. I'm going to change it to, uh, in this case, 8 inches. And the maximum length I'm going to set at 24 inches. Now, it will only let you do three times the minimum uh, arc length. So in this case, I'm actually uh, pushing the limits by doing 24 inches here. And we'll hit Enter. Now we're back to our Rev Cloud command. I'm actually going to uh, select Object. Uh, instead of just clicking and creating that Rev Cloud, I'm going to use an object that's already in the scene, and that object is this polyline here. So I'll just hit O space and then click on that polyline. Now you can see it's already created a revision cloud that kind of looks like a shrub all the way around, and we could be perfectly fine with this. We'll say no to reverse direction, but let's look at if we did reverse that direction, what that would look like. So we'll do the same thing over here. We'll offset it six inches in, erase the source, do rev cloud and object, and saved our last uh, settings in there. So we can just jump right to object, and in this case, we are going to reverse the direction. You can see that it comes to a point on these, and that might be a strategy for showing different types of shrubs uh, or you know different areas of masses in one particular area. Another strategy for that is actually changing the hatches uh, that you're going to use inside of these. So I'm going to do H space for my hatches. Now it allows me to pick an internal point. That's sort of the default. And you probably use this often where you just kind of start clicking in here, which you'll see there's some instances maybe where it overlaps. And if I were to click an internal point, it wouldn't get uh, this corner. And if that's something that you want to get, uh, then what you would use is this option. We'd say select objects, which again, S is capitalized. So that's going to be our shortcut for that. We'll hit S space. And what we'll do is just click on this revision cloud and it fills the entire thing in, even this little corner, uh, with that hatch. I'll double click back on the hatch to pull up uh, the pattern and we'll sort of pick a pattern and you can use a, a whole host of different patterns here, choose uh, different scales for it and obviously put them on different layers uh, to get different line weights for those hatches. So using the boundary creation tool to create a polyline around your planting areas, offsetting that line in and using the revision cloud command can be a really quick way to generate a shrub outline or some texture that kind of looks like uh, planting masses in your AutoCAD drawings.